Okay, here at treehouses.com, where we sell the Garnier limb, the original Garnier limb, uh, we do testing on it. We've tested it throughout the years. I mean, it's pretty much stayed the same since the beginning. We've tried all different types of threads and different lengths. And uh, one of the things we know that if we put more boss on it, it'll hold more. But this part of the GL has pretty much stayed the same, all right? Now, you got to remember that all Garnier limbs are treehouse attachment bolt, but not all treehouse attachment bolts are Garnier limbs. We're going to test it here with this hydraulic jack. Okay, we're going to put it at two inches out and then we're going to apply a force. Okay, so basically we put, this took 10,000 pounds to bend this, G, this GL. And you can see where it compressed the wood here and, and the wood here, which you would have suspected it would, it would compress. And that caused it to failure to move away from here. But also there's this whole flat surface of the, of the boss, which also works as a bearing surface. So that, this whole area is what greatly increases the weight bearing capacity of a Garnier limb. Now I tested lag bolts you know, 15 years ago and, and didn't think they had enough weight, but I haven't touched them, tested them in a long time. They're, they don't hold near as much weight and they're not as versatile. So, and one of the things is, is they got this, they got this fixed cap on there and so you can't put brackets on there and everything and we're not going to be able to test this. We're going to have to cut this off. Okay. So where are we at on this? <clears throat> okay. It's moving a little bit at about 1500. Okay. Okay. All right. It's still okay. Does it keep moving? Okay. Well, you're getting up to Let's see, it's going back down to around 1,500. That's about all it's getting. Okay. Okay, so there it comes back. Leave it alone now. All right, that's what it is. It's at 1,500 is what it held. It's holding. Okay, so like I said, it only holds like half as much. Okay, and it's not as versatile. So just beware when you use these that you're trying to if you hold your load out away from the from the tree that it doesn't hold as much. In a knee brace, it, it's more in compression. It's not in shear. But these we're using the GLs for in shear, and a lot of the brackets we use are for in shear. We've got. Uh, a thousand, that's a thousand PSI. Okay, now get it up to 1500. Okay, it's stretching the wood. We're at 15 now, that's where the uh, lag bolt, that's where it's just started moving, it wouldn't hold anymore. Okay, now we're going up to 2000. Okay, 35, 35 we're at, okay. We're starting to get a little separation, but uh, you see this, you come over here. If you see this on your, on your um, GLs, you know, after a winter or something, then you know that you've gotten a big force on there. Okay, but it's still not failure yet. Let's keep going. Okay, now it's starting to move. We're right in about 4,000, not quite 4,000. All right, so yeah, now it's starting to fail. It's failing at 4,000 PSI. It just hit 45 and came back. Yeah, okay. All right, but it, well, we'll call it 4,000 is what it held. So that's 4,000, that's like 7,000 pounds uh, compared to uh, 1,500 PSI at 1.75, about, uh, you know, 7,000 and then 3,000. So it, over twice as much the GL will hold as, as the regular lag of the same diameter. And uh, that's the whole reason for the boss and it allows you to put bigger loads on a tree and hold it away from the tree and uh, give you longevity and uh, safety. Now, if you put more boss into the tree, 
you know, you put more bearing, you got, you have more of this surface area here. You'll have a thicker area on the tree that'll have to compress more of the, more of the wood, so it'll hold more weight. And the reason for the big bosses and the, is to allow you to get more weight out of one attachment point.